Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and today we're going to do a Talia jungle guide and I'm going to talk about runes, builds, I'm going to go for GLP after the AP jungle item so don't flame me, I'm experimenting with that. Also in this game I want to talk about uh, matchups in general, let me just check something real quick, I thought I did not start this right. I'm gonna talk about matchups in general and um, how I think when Talia is actually, why I think Talia is strong in some context and when she is not that strong. So, for runes I'm playing with Dark Harvest, Chip Shot, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, Water Walking, Nimbus Cloak, Rune Stats, these are the rune stats. Also you can go Inspiration for Presence of Mind, uh, sorry, Precision, you can go Precision for Presence of Mind and Cup the Grace instead of these two. It's up to you guys, you gotta try, you gotta practice, you gotta see what works for you. Now, I'm against the cane, right? And also for builds I forgot I'm going for the AP Jungle item, Sork Shoes. GLP before Sork Shoes, I think, and then we're going to go Orb and stuff like that. Rabanos maybe. I want to have that slow. I really like that slow and I want to see if it works in a serious stone and not just... Uh, I don't know. I don't think it works in a serious stone yet in like official games if you'd like to try in ranks. I'm not sure about it. But I'd really like to see the effectiveness on it and I quite think it works, especially if I don't play with uh, with presence of mind secondary because I don't have that much mana right I'm gonna auto attack this guy not going to reset I'm going straight to red and also let's talk a little about matchups in what matchups do you think guys Tlia is doing fine in what matchups do you think Tlia is actually strong in what matchups you think she does not do fine in what matchups you think she's bad let's think about these questions a bit well on mid lane, if you were to compare, Talia generally struggles against champions that have either gap closers or deal lots of damage or both. That would be generally the issue. I'm kiting this like a silver. Sorry, silvers. <laughs> Maybe you kite better than me, actually. So, yeah. So, if you were to think about it, Talia generally on mid lane sucks against Fizz, sucks against Zed. Champions like that. Champions that have burst and dashes. So if you were going to think about that on jungle, she's having a hard time against champions that at certain points of the game are way stronger than her and if they invade her they can murder her. So if I'm against a Rengar and he comes here at level 2 or a Shaco or something like maybe a Warwick that really wants to invade, then these champions can actually murder me. So I'd have maybe to start red and rethink my strategy in terms of pushing. Now I'm against a Kai in this game. So if we follow the theory that we just said, he needs time to scale because he doesn't do that much burst early on. He might kill you but he has to do that over a certain period of time. And if you think like that, if it, if it has to kill you over a certain period of time, let's say Wari kinda has to do that as well. Then in that context, the, your team has time to actually come back to help you, has time to actually react to that. And I'm going to try again here. He's not going to die. And Kane gang bogged, he took, he did, whoa, he has much more farm than me. He cleared way faster. And he probably also took some CS, that's why. But I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna try to equalize a bit. He started blue for some reason. That's interesting. And he did a successful gang bot already. And I'm gonna get this. They are actually... I did not expect them to get ganked, I'll be honest, by an early Kane and get also kills. Kane generally doesn't get kills in the early game. He gets kills after 6, after he gets red or blue at certain points and he does that. Uh, but what I try to do, I try to scale, I try to get the AP jungle item in general and then I try to deal with the opponent. Because until that you're not really doing anything. If, you, if I went bot, odds would have been that I would die too in that context. And also I really want to have that GLP, so don't mind me. Uh, I'm having my experiments. I'm gonna get this, then I'm gonna smite it, then I'm going back to get the first uh, first step, first item from the jungle itemization. And let's talk a little again about matchups. I, let's keep that discussion going, because I do not recommend for you, you do, you'd want fixed information, right? You'd want to know facts, where to pick Talia, where not to pick Talia. I do not recommend you to pick Talia in Rengar, in Rek'Sai, maybe in Lee Sin or Elise and Olaf champions like that. You can pick her in other contexts, you can pick her very well against 
champions that need to scale so think about evelyn even she's a, even if she's an assassin it doesn't matter that much because she needs time to actually scale you can pick her into zack but you have to counter gank him early and you can actually do a lot more than him after that you can easily pick her into kane like this but you gotta expect apparently him that you gotta expect him to do early ganks which is weird because generally it doesn't happen okay you can pick her in kane too you can pick her in cartus Lia works in cartus you can farm better than the Cartus after a certain point and you can actually do stuff to him. You can invade him, you can, if you can CC him with a teammate, you're instantly bursting him down. That's the matchups you want to think about in which you pick Talia. If you are, however, picking Talia in something like maybe a Lysine, maybe an Elise, this is going to be a bit more difficult than you're used to because those champions have early potential. You're going to outscale the senior, probably not going to outscale Elise, but against those champions, for example, you have to dodge their, their spells, their point and click spells. Against assassins, they are not quite assassins. <coughs> they are not quite assassins, but they are matchups that can actually kill you. I'm going bot now. Mid lane is going to be dead, probably. Because he failed somehow his engage against uh, against his Lissandra. <laughs> actually, he was used ult. But he didn't got the Lissandra ult off, which means he lost it heavily. And I'm going mid. Maybe I get here something. I I'm able here to do a full combo on Kane. But the question is, do we really want that? Because he probably can kill me if I don't do a proper flash here. Okay, we dealt with that. And Z also win mid. And. I'm out. I'm not gonna die from that. Go, 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 they, they, they are... How did I miss that? Jesus. Okay. We can keep going. We can keep going. As I said, we can probably kill her and kill Kane if we hit our combo instantly. He... I don't know what he did there. I should have probably died. I should have probably died. And now I kind of expect him to come here. I kind of do. But he probably takes his red at this point. I still have time to take this. I still have time to take this. And I know they have no words on that. If they had a word on that bush, it would have been problematic. Yeah, let's take this. Jesus, this cuttle trolls me so hard. Okay, let's clear towards top side. Uh, towards this side. And then let's see how we can deal after that. We started well there. And there is a Lissandra again going bot, probably. We started well there, and you can already see I am full HP. And that's mainly off the Ravenous Hunter rune. Okay, she stopped. She stopped. I'm not going for uh, Gromp. I'm going for the full topside clear. I'm going to do a full clear, then I'm going to recall. And Orn got a shutdown. Haven't paid much attention to him, but it's apparently hard winning. Okay, and what I want now is to stick and take this this stuff, these uh, zones, because as you can see, Kane actually outfarms me, but this happens against most junglers till a certain point. And at that certain point, you should actually start farming a lot, because you clear very fast, right? I'm seeing Zed. I'm thinking he ulted her, and or maybe not even because it's... Okay, yeah, he did. Okay, coming, 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 coming. Right. Okay, back off. As I said, till a certain point. After that, after that, you don't really have any issues uh, against champions, against opponents, especially if you have more farm than her, than them, because you're going to be able to kill them. And what I recommend, actually, in matchups that are more difficult, I'm gonna smite because you'll reset. Uh, what I recommend in matchups that are more difficult is to just try to get whatever camps you can to try to pat against, let's say, Rexa against let's say an annoying champion you can also do fine against graves by the way if you pat properly and you don't encounter him much but against rexa against lee sin against maybe vi against volibear i don't even know champions that you don't really want to fight early on at least you can just try to get the other camps on the map and then you'd see from there how it fares now i'm gonna recall at this point but i think we can actually kill him here Hit him. Alright. I 
don't don't ask what was that that was probably missed even without all he actually had time to word tell them to back off and i'm going to move here and probably no no don't fight don't fight don't fight don't fight all we got to do is back off here i'm gonna ping them to back off because there is a cane so what we want now he's probably doing drake by the way or Harold. If I were Kane, I would do that. What we want now is to get boots, which is to get this. I'm gonna actually get boots and then I'm gonna get GLP as we said. But what you'd want in those matchups that uh, aren't really that scalish, solely seen, so I don't know, maybe Rek'Sai, but he can does stuff after that. You'd want to farm as much as you can and you'd want to be certain that you are not inting a lot until a point. And I think Janna escaped. Nice. Really nice. They really nicely played. And I am actually coming. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I want Kane to turn, but I doubt he will. I'm gonna get here this. I don't really mind. Whoa! That rocket. I don't really mind uh, Kane being around now because we killed him early, but in general, you'd probably struggle doing stuff to him, killing him. I'm going to get the mid farm. You should always get the mid farm when you can because it's free experience. As you can see, I'm higher level than Kane. And that shouldn't really happen. I am missing cannon even on jungle. That's that's something. That's that's right here, a player. And Kane is doing fine. This dive, however, this is not fine. Although she lived. I'm here again to try to assist with whatever I can. I don't really want... Okay. going I'm going okay we got it can I get a shield Jonah he doesn't have anything back off if you die here it's not okay I gave the shutdown to the support that's the greatest thing you can do if you were about to die not to the jinx not to the cane to the support and we also got a kill to the Caitlyn so we got to think we got to think about that so I gave the kill to Braum and I also uh, Caitlyn got the kill on Kane, which is good. So, that was a very good scenario for me. <clears throat> Plus, now I'm going to start scaling very well compared to... Uh, well, not necessarily very well compared to the Kane, but in general context of the game. Because Kane with a blue... with blue Kane, actually, <clears throat> is actually, as you can see, he's here. He's actually murdering people. He can actually destroy without the problem. What is happening? I am actually... I am actually getting her. Easily, actually. Because of the speed. And... Blue Kane can actually be deadly, but because I got my AP jungle item, and because I position myself as such so that I don't encounter him directly, I can actually maneuver against him and I can actually do fine. So, if he were to gank bot now, I can be here, I can counter gank easily, my bot lane is winning by the way, I'm staying here because my bot lane is winning, and I can think of moving towards this, I can think moving towards this zone, and as you can see, they don't really have any vision, so if Kane comes now, or I hit a full combo on Jinx, she's instantly dead, and we can also get a, another kill here. Look, before Kane came, even if he came, we would have had the advantage here, because I was already in the bush, right? And now if Lissandra comes, what happens? I'm gonna instantly WQ combo, and we will, after that, win. They cannot 2 versus 3 us, because we have our ability us up, because of the early advantage that we generated from that fight. Also, you're about to get, you're about to get dismembered here by the Kane. I'm coming, but it was pretty predictable that... That this would have happened. So we can we can go Drake now. We can go Drake. They are probably doing Herald. Or they should do Herald at this point. I don't have I don't have Smite. And I'm gonna move myself away from the Drake because of the Jinx Salt, because that deals damage towards that as well. Probably Kane is taking my top side. And I'm just gonna stick to the Caitlyn by the way. If a uh, is winning and 
that lane ca has the potential to carry why did you go this side there first then you can stick to that side and you can help them as much as you can you can generate a lot of stuff from that you can actually be the cause of winning to others to other players so i have seven out of 13 kill participation case has two by the way if we were to compare and at this point he just wants to assassin people right he wants to do that he wants to murder people and he wants to do that as often as he can to stack up uh, he doesn't have that harvest i thought he has to get as many kills and to get that gold to get fed to be ahead that's what he wants that's what he should do so in terms of this he should camp these lanes he should go bot but if i am bot <coughs> and we win the 3 versus 3 which already see that it happens then either he needs Lissandra's help or he needs to focus on mid which he just did he went on mid lane and he got the kill on Z there which he thought he done his part well he, he did that and now I can go towards mid because we expect Kane to be around here as you can see now I can go here and I'm not going to recall till I have GLP by the way and I'm gonna clear vision around I'm seeing them and I just need to be careful here. I don't know which one I got. I got one. Got the bra. But we can actually move towards the tower now because we pushed them away. They shouldn't be able really to defend this. Even though I don't have mana, uh, they aren't... Ah, I missed that. Okay. I wanted her to actually cast that. Okay, back off. Back off. We're fine. Now, still, the farm is quite the same. Uh, but at this point I should be able to just clear my uh, jungle over and over until there is no chance for him to catch up. That's what I should do. And let's just select GLP here. Didn't even need that much gold to get it. Also gonna get vision words. My vision score is 16. It's decent. It's not that good. I am not generally uh, that good at controlling the vision but I am trying to... Okay. I don't know what they did there but things flashed someone flashed i think drinks that was weird anyway what we want now is to go towards the drakes towards this uh game points and we want to do a full clear again we, and we want to do that full clear while keeping an eye on our alt and in that terms while keeping an eye for where kane might go i could go bot i just want to clear the top side they should be careful here although even though i ping them they don't really have any issues and I'm sure they are going to do fine and I have ult again I am in range so yeah that that should be your control point and as you can see here I'm actually looking always towards mid so if uh, if Kane was about to gang them or Lissandra to engage I would have a starting point also this guy uh, Orn is going to die here I think And now we can move towards other stuff as you can see my farm it's uh, growing it's starting to create that gap that difference we're also getting all the buffs on the map because of the difference on the bot lane and you can see you can see also okay uh, she dodged nicely i thought she was going to go downside okay and now jana just full to full just healed to full hp and we're gonna get we're gonna get Braum if we don't get that okay <laughs> i got it with auto attack <laughs> right and now we can we can push mid because we got the kills uh we got the kills come 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 all right We can kill this guy though. It's fine. We don't. I want. I could have flashed out for him. Okay, it's fine. We might get another stack here, which is what we want. Nice. Exactly. We we actually fulfilled Herald's purpose there. And I need blue buff first if you want to go Drake. I need blue buff first. So after I get this blue buff, I will not have any issues into getting that Drake. As you can see, go, uh, Drake control goes well. Let's take this and then let's go for that. Janna died 
I would say because of me, but I hoped to get Kane as well in that contest context. Okay, Smite did pretty badly, but doesn't matter because Kane wasn't around. He didn't have time to react. And okay. Uh, okay, she casted that. It's fine, we're fine. Now we can move towards other more serious objectives, but we can clear again. I'm already 12 CS ahead. It's not that spectacular because he farms a lot as well. And also I got two vision words and I got GLP. I want to play with GLP to test it more and I want to see how this works. But uh, as you can notice, besides the fact that I have 13 stacks, I am a level ahead and I will keep growing in levels faster than him. I will start to be more useful than him and I will start to get free kills around the map because of the GLP setup, right? So generally I can do much more than him. And now, and now we got a free Shogat here as well, even if he flashes. Okay, never mind. That scared me, but still. He could have done much more damage to me, but because he's behind in levels now, he's not really having that edge. If he gets ahead and gets lots of kills around the map, you need to farm a lot to stay in on the same level zone as him. Because if he goes far ahead, because if he goes too far ahead, then we're going to have issues with that. I wanted to get help here. I can probably kill him. Four seconds. I'm gonna put a vision word here. Okay. Got him. That was a nice angle right there. No, no, I'm not talking about Overwatch. But as you can see, it goes well. R right now it works. What I'm doing generally works. And that works because Kane didn't successfully assassinate enough people. And because we have an enchanter, Janna, that's gets that can get difficult to him. But good Kanes, the Smurfers, the, let's say, the ones that want to climb quickly to their Master or Challenger from a Smurf, will probably, will probably want to play different than this guy. And I can one-shot him here as well. It's this simple. When you get advantage on Talia, it's very simple to actually murder people. And you can see what I'm doing. You can see and you can actually try to replicate in normal games until it works. And when it works, when it works, you're actually going to have a lot more success. Obviously, this game is not happening every time. You're going to have bad games as well. But I noticed that generally when I try GLP in this context, it, uh, it does decently fine. And... If you're playing Tlia jungle and you're not having CS advantage, you're not doing something right. At some point, you, you should have CS advantage. And I'm not saying to get CS advantage by uh, farming in ways that uh, makes your team flame you or you miss lots of team fights. I want you to play in the way in which you go to farm and you ping danger to your teammates so that they don't die to this cane, right as I'm doing, right? You'd want to do that. Because if your Orn ints or your Caitlyn dies, right here for example, as this, this is bad. You don't want that. Right. So I just need to notice where he escapes. Okay, and we got him. I can instantly kill him, but you gotta ping your team in, especially in assassin matchups to back off. I, I'm expecting now to think that you're not exactly, let's just say you're not silver. Or if you're silver, I'm expecting at least someone in your team to understand what you do. And that person can be the one that you either help to get kills or either play with him to secure stuff and to maybe have someone to CC your enemies, maybe something like that. But if your team does not listen to you and you're playing Talia against an assassin and they keep dying, you're not really going to have success and they surrendered. Because I believe I killed too many times <laughs> people <laughs> on the map. So this is the guy that I guy that I just did. Uh, I talked in this guy. Let's let's see. I talked about runes builds. I get, went for GLP and I talked about matchups. And also I talked about how to generally farm on Talia and how to do well with that. So uh, that's the Talia jungle guide for today. And I really hope you enjoyed, guys. Goodbye. See you next time, guys. Goodbye.